Mattel, the producers of Barbie, the infamous Barbie doll, have a hijab Barbie, hijabi, hijab Barbie, and it's basically a hijabi Barbie. You know, which is quite interesting when you think about it, especially because it is part of their Shiro campaign. So you're a hero because you're wearing a, a, a hijab, basically. Yes, so that's that's been brought about because uh, Olympian Ibtihaj, who's won a medal, but she's wore a hijab. She is the hero of uh, a Barbie dance. It's interesting. She's she's actually been given this role not because. She's won a medal in Olympics, specifically because she's wearing a hijab. Yeah, I mean, the, the Mattel vice president mentioned specifically the fact that she's embraced her difference. And again, you know, what's really interesting about this is the fact that the hijab, which is such a tool to control women, to hide them away because they seem to be the source of fitna, if they're not veiled is celebrated in this way, so you actually become a hero. Uh, it's really an anti-hero, isn't it? No, absolutely. I, I have no idea uh, what would they say to the women who are mm -hmm. struggling for freedom and are trying to throw away the way in Iran, in Afghanistan, in Saudi Arabia, in Pakistan, in Egypt, in Iraq, you name it, in Middle East and North Africa. What have you got to say to those women who are fighting every day? Well, Barbie, and well, that's Islamophobic, isn't it's, it? No, but I think about what they are actually doing, they're reinforcing those oppressions in Middle East and many countries in Europe and America, the young girls and women who are fighting Islamic imposition of hijab. And that's a bit despicable. Yeah, act. and especially, you know, the, the fact of the matter is that, it, you know, when you have a doll wearing a hijab, you, you are normalizing reinforcing this, it, yes. and you're reinforcing it, you're making it seem very normal, and in fact, you know, it's not a normal thing. It's not something that uh, very many women do out of choice. If you look at it on a vast social scale, you know, all across the world, it is very much an imposition for a vast majority of people, and particularly when it comes to children, it is child abuse, you know, because it tells girls that they're different from boys, they're sexualized at a very young age, and who plays with Barbie dolls? Girls do, you know, and you look at this campaign in line with the imposition of the hijab on four-year-olds in yeah. British schools is nothing. It's nothing. It's this sinister. is not really something to aspire to, and this is really what's happening, Mariam, Is that the commercial directors of uh, you know Barbie? They've actually they've realised is a market under the slumists. Just name it under the slumists is the market for that, and they're, they're cashing in. That's what they're doing, and that's at the expense of. Women who are fighting against the job and Islamists, and that's what they're doing. Yeah, women's rights, girls' rights. I mean, it is very shameful, really. And for it to be celebrated as a Shiro campaign is just beyond, and beyond you know, uh, understanding even. It's really thumbs down to Mattel. And, you know, let me add, I mean, Barbie is a hideous doll to begin with. It is, you know, if you make Barbie into a normal human being, she would be anorexic. You know, and now when you think of this Shiro campaign, it's really a continuation of that same misogynist view of women. Either she has to have her tits out to here and a waist, you know, this small, where she most probably can't breathe, she can't swallow, most probably. There's no, you know, there's nothing there for her yeah. to digest her food, or she has to be veiled. Again, it's sort of, you know, the ideal woman in a misogynist uh, point of view, or from a religious point of view. Yeah, absolutely. And I think what they do, they're cashing oh. in, they're supporting the Islamists, mm. uh, a normalizing Islamist narrative, and it's disgusting. So thumbs down to Barbie, thumb, thumbs down to Metal. The Jarby. And the Jarby. Disgusting.